Hey, welcome back. It's been a while, and I'm basically revisiting an old video I did many years ago that has garnered over 1 million views already on the channel. And it was made with very low resolution. So basically, it's like the updating of the old video. What we're seeing here is uh, Pearl number one. This is the birth of a natural pearl. And uh, this is one of the original uh, videos, that video that I told you about. And uh, we can, we're we just going to get to see many natural pearls on farm raised pearl oysters. Okay. So you could see pearl number one. You can see that all of the pearls are inside their pearl sac. The pearl sac is basically a very thin membrane of uh, epithelial cells from the mantle. The mantle is that skin-like membrane or organ that grows attached to the shell and actually builds the shell itself. And of course, it can produce pearls. But that one was a white pearl. Now we have pearl number two. And again, you see the mantle, which is uh, attached to the shell. That little dark colored bump that's a pearl caught in the mantle. So when uh, you have uh, farm-raised pearl oysters and you open them up, you can find these natural pearls. They're very rare. Most of these pearls were caught on video in the 2000s and even in the 1990s. So that's the same pearl as before pearl number two, seeing it from a different angle. Now that's my hand. You can see I'm just using a scalpel to make a tiny cut. And then voila, the pearl, natural pearl is revealed. So that's pearl number three. It was this year that we had these huge natural pearls. Those pearl oysters are rainbow lip pearl oysters. They're about four years old. They were amazingly healthy at that time. And uh, that oyster in particular actually has several pearls in the mantle. You can actually see like three or four over there. We're going to get to see how the first one, the largest, is extracted. So again, just a little cut at the base. And you can see it's kept within the pearl sac. You see that shiny pearl look and it's still there. And now it's going to be totally removed can see the pearl sac over there. So these images are really rare. Uh, the video cameras we used in those days, these were not even digital cameras, these were analog tape-based cameras. So you can't ask for a lot of these images, but uh, they're still very valuable. Pearl number four, again, you can see the mantle and uh, the beautiful pearl within the mantle, that's actually my hand again. And I'm going to start cutting again, a little slit to just open up. Look how I'm just pulling the mantle, the membrane, just separating it so I can almost squeeze the pearl. These are hinge pearls. Hinge pearls are grown in the hinge area, which is the bottom part of the shell where the two shells actually meet that's the hinge and hinge pearls are very much baroque now pearl number seven another beautiful large pearl and uh, again you can just see you know that the pearl is basically kept there by just a couple of cell cells thick layered but it's just so thin Look at that beautiful pearl. And I mean, if the pearl grows larger and the pearl sac may burst and the pearl falls, it may fall inside the pearl oyster and even fall outside of the oyster eventually. So here we have pearl number eight. This is another pearl. This one was not nice. This was a, an ugly pearl, but uh, yeah, and you can actually see through the mantle, it's translucent. You can see some little spots and uh, like little imperfections, and you will be able to see them on the pearl. 
The pearl also has a ring. And that happens when the pearl rotates. And you can see the spot there, the, the imperfection. You see it? And that's where the ring is also located. But still, all natural pearls are amazingly interesting. The, the color is nice, the luster is beautiful. The shape is definitely not bad. But those imperfections were not very good. Look at that color. It's one of the faces of the pearl was really clean. If you set these pearls properly, you won't be able to see the imperfection. That's uh, actually very good. Now, the next set of pictures is very interesting as well, because now we're having uh, an, uh, a microscope, a digital microscope. It's a very inexpensive one. You can get these from Amazon. But the thing is that that pearl oyster that you're seeing featured there had over a hundred tiny little natural pearls and what we're seeing is how these little natural pearls are found embedded in the mantle. So each little pearl is in their little stack and see how it looks like the mantle is just like a gelatin. So just like a thick sticky gelatin and all the little pearls are right there and you can actually pick each one of them. That's uh, the tweezer. Some of the little pearls, you can see imperfections on their surface. To my knowledge, this is the only video that I've seen of uh, pearls, natural pearls, on a live pearl oyster and being extracted from their pearl sacs using a microscope. So the value of this video is just uh, to see something that no one else has seen. And uh, I had these videos just stored in a hard drive, some for decades, and no one has seen them. And maybe someone out there would love to see these images and learn what nature is doing all of the time and we're not noticing. Most people just see the pearls and never get to see how they're extracted from a live pearl oyster. So basically that's it folks and uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and uh, if possible subscribe as well. I'm, I'll be trying to make more videos in a couple in the upcoming months. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great day. Thanks again.